Good morning, Wildcast. Today is Friday, October 4th. I'm Zach Shazad, and welcome to another edition of WCTC News. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Spirit Night for the junior class will be from 4 to 8 p.m. today at Chipotle on 192 across from the mall. You may show a photo on your phone of the posters hung around campus to give West Shore credit for your purchases. Please take a picture of the Chipotle posters before or after school during power hour. The Young Republicans Club will also be holding a meeting today in Mrs. McCormick's room 4104 during Power Hour A. The annual Smash Brothers Tournament will be held on Tuesday, October 22nd in the auditorium right after school. Everyone is welcome to register to play or purchase a ticket for the event. Registration to play is going to be $10 this year in advance for a single player and $15 at the door of the day of the event. Tickets to, the, to Spectate are going to be $3 in advance and $5 at the door. Tickets are going to go on sale from October 15th through October 17th during Power Hour. Prizes will be announced in two weeks. Doors will be opening at 3.45, day of the event, and the event will be scheduled to be held from 4 to 6 p.m. And it will be supporting the junior class. The new middle school SGA officers need to meet in Mrs. Rad's room Wednesday during Power Hour B. Harvest City Elementary is looking for a group to help set up their fall festival on Saturday, October 19th at 7 a.m. They are also looking for juniors and seniors to help with the haunted house at the fall festival. If you need service hours and would like to volunteer and help West Shore's adopted elementary school, please contact Kathy, the secretary at Harbor City, and she can be reached at 321-254-5534, extension 1003, or by email at bottolusi.katherine at brevardschools.org. There will be a girls' soccer meeting Tuesday, October 8th during Power Hour A in the gym for any girls that are interested in trying out for the team this year. They will either be able to turn in their paperwork or sign up for tryouts. Nautilus story on the Global Sustainability Group by Ryan Martin. The Global Sustainability Group organized an Oaks for Oak Street event on Oak Street in Melbourne Beach, December 20th. With um, trees producing oxygen and providing habitat for wildlife and just uh, shade, they cool the town. Uh, we live on Oak Street and there were no oak trees on Oak Street, so we thought that would be a good place to start. The group bought the oak trees from a local nursery and 13 West Shore volunteers helped plant them in the ground. More than anyone else, Sun Harbor Nursery has helped us. They have been giving, donating us trees at a reduced price, um, which has allowed us to do all of this. Um, second, there's been 46 different families in, in Mel Beach that have offered to donate the trees and help out with this project. And more than anything, we wouldn't be able to do anything without our volunteers. The Global Sustainability Group will be planting an additional five trees on Oak Street, October 4th. This has been Ryan Martin with WCTZ News. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of WCTZ News. This has been Zach Shazad and have a great day, Wildcats.